What's good? I'm a ruthless addict. It is your girl, Take It to Shine. Thank you so much for tuning in to All Things Ruthless, home of the ruthless addicts. Let's go ahead and get on into why we are here. You know, a while back when season two ended, the ruthless cast gave us all a little insight on each, just about each and every one of the cast that are a part of Tyler Perry's Ruthless. That being Matt Sedanio as the highest, um, Jamie M. Calica as Brian, Agent Brian Rollins, um, Nyreen Brown as Lynn Rollins. They also gave us Anthony Bless, who gave us a clip, a sneak peek into his newest music entitled Take You Back, which is which is now streaming, so make sure you guys go ahead, download it everywhere. And we also had the opportunity to see our girls, Paula and Lacey, also known as Sam Thomas and Elise Willis. You guys, they gave us such an amazing live. We are indeed hoping that we receive another live either before the show returns for season three, the remainder of season three, before it returns, or at least when season three ends, okay? We're definitely looking forward to more of this cast. I just wanted to bring you guys clips of the interview. There were more cast members that participated, such as Stevie Bags Jr., Baja Lens Odom, uh, Colin McCalla, who plays River. Um, but I, did, I didn't really, get, I didn't want to, you know, take up too much of you guys' time. Um, so hopefully you guys will either watch this all the way through or fast forward to the favorite people, you know, the people that you love to see, okay? Anyway, you guys, with that being said, make sure you drop below in the comments. Let me know who your favorite conversation was, okay? All right, y'all, that's about it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to All Things Ruthless, Home of the Ruthless Addicts. You guys, stay with us. We've got the hottest himself. So, it's starting to clock now, just so you know. So, so just uh, to uh, keep oh, you informed, Matt, wait, you got yeah. about five, five, five six minutes. Highest? Keep me on the, the clock, man. You know that works out trailer? perfectly. You know, this is the only time that I actually get to get to make some rules. Okay, <laughs> you may, uh, no. Or you will be punished if you don't listen. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> At your mercy. So, uh, At your okay. Mercy. <laughs> Thank you. I, okay, I have a question for Matt. So this season we got a deeper look, and I did wrote all my questions down. For you guys. This season we got a yeah, deeper look good. into why the highest is the way he is. How did you prepare so effortlessly to show us this emotional side? Now, how do you know effortlessly? That was effortful. <laughs> Because when I watched it, I was like, how the, how is Matt, who is Matt? <laughs> it looks effort. effortless. That's how you know it's, it's great. It's massive. My family, you're too kind. My family is so kind. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was effort fully, honestly. But um, I don't know, so many ways. I mean, the number one way is really just kind of living in my moment with my other actors and just telling the story that Tyler had spun for us yeah. um, mm -hmm. and connecting with that and just telling the truth, really. Um, those were extreme circumstances that he had lived through in his past and just really trying to imagine yourself in that scenario where in his mind, he thinks he's doing right by everybody. He's trying to bring yeah. us all to this like great place. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a huge struggle that he's um, he's chosen to to fight that fight, you know, to to do the right thing. It might be a little warped and you know not in line with what your average person might think, but at least you know according to him, he's he's doing it. He's living by his <laughs> God. So just kind of imagining those circumstances mm -hmm. and trying to be in the moment as best I can. With as you guys know the the fluidity of that production how things move so quickly um yeah it is effortful <laughs> to stay in that moment but effortful. Know, we all do what we can <laughs> effortful <laughs> yes and I, my question was just you've done a lot of projects we know this uh what was the oh Okay, you know what? Actually, you know this part too. You also came in pretty much last minute on the day that you had to shoot because you and I were running our scene together 
as you were like getting ready and all these things. So my question is, please talk about your experience with this in comparison to like other projects you've done, just the differences and what you kind of prefer maybe of our experience over other things, you know? Yeah, so I was, Daikon, Lenny, correct me. We, one of what Lenny and I were amongst the two casts last. Yeah. And for myself in particular, it was, it was extra stressful because it was my birthday, the weekend that I got cast. I got cast on a Saturday and they wanted me to fly Sunday. And I had a huge birthday party set up on the Sunday where I was, I had like a daytime party and then dinner and all sorts of stuff. Wow. So my team asked if I could fly Monday morning at six o'clock and they, they obliged. But I had only gotten the scripts on Saturday with the expectation to fly on a Sunday. So I'm, I'm reading the scripts on the plane on Monday morning, trying to get through as many as possible because I know I'm landing on Monday. Tuesday morning, I'm seeing Mr. Swinton, vice president of the studio. Right after that is a fitting. And then day one was the Wednesday. Yep. And I, you know, people ask me this question, like, what is it like working for Tyler Perry? And the immediate response, like, you want to go, it's amazing, he, he's great, the opportunity he's bestowed upon me, the da 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 But the reality is, is, like, it was just stress. I felt, and I felt <laughs> more stressed than any other job. Yeah. And you're meeting everybody, you guys were in the courthouse, and I wanted to come and hang and run lines, but the, just the way that I memorize, you know, I have to, I have to get it in about 90% by myself before I could be present enough to actually rehearse it with my castmates. So then I felt like I was I was throwing shade towards these people that I hadn't even met yet. And I was stressed and I had a bit of a panic attack in my hotel. Oh, so man. it was it was really hard. And <laughs> my even as I say that, like my 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 heart rate heart rate elevates a bit just from recalling how difficult it was. <laughs> But we got to set and we all were in the same boat. We all were stressed, regardless if you had your scripts uh, four days, five days, two weeks before. We were all in this in this really, really rocky boat. Yeah. And as yeah. you guys mentioned, you know, we got one, we got one, we'll call it a take. But what Mr. P would do is, you know, we would start the take. He'd say, stop. They'd adjust the cameras a little one, two bits. Sometimes he just says, continue. Sometimes he goes, all right, bring it back from the top as they've adjusted where the cameras are. And that's it. And you, we learned, we learned on day one what the tone of it was going to look like, but nobody could have prepared us for it. No matter what Mr. Swinton said in that meeting, oh, man, you could yeah. never be prepared for the amount of work that was required of us. And when you got to set and you had your castmates all working at, as diligently as the next so that we could bring the best product forward for the viewer, it was amazing. And when we finally yeah. wrapped and we got to go out a little bit and actually hang out because it was none of that during the season it was a really nice feeling so it was bare stress but when you when you do it and you look back you're like and this ties into the other part of your question you could do anything after you work for tyler perry like yeah. i go back to doing eight script pages a day and i'm like i have single scenes on ruthless that are 14 pages like and then 12 hours for eight pages i'm like y'all are slacking over here so it really is you're coming out of tyler perry boot camp and it really does set you up in the best possible way. So you know we're gonna be stressed, have little breakdowns and panic attacks, but you come out of it better. And I'm yeah. better because of my castmates, I'm better because of Mr. P, and and it's just a great feeling to get into these other jobs and I use that experience to the to, to the max, you know? Starting our time, because we already know, but we are Start so time. happy to have Let's you go. in the building. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think we all wanna know, because I know that there's, Oh, you, every every show has to have that like love to hate <laughs> person, and I think you fall into that category where some of us just want to shake you. Like we're trying to help you, <laughs> people are trying to help you. So can you just talk to what you think uh, motivates Lynn to just push everyone away and <laughs> hurt all these people that she loves? What is it? Get us into the mind because we know broken people. Break people, right? Yeah, hurt people, so, hurt, hurt people, people yeah. hurt there you people. Go, there you go. How mm -hmm. it goes is how it goes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, Lynn is dealing with a lot of past of substance abuse, and um, even though I have never myself indulged in it, I can only imagine that the mindset is that they don't feel worthy enough to be saved. 
Um, there's a lot of internal stuff happening. And I just pray that I'm doing the character justice for anyone who can relate to her. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she's she just probably feels better off, like, just trying to figure it out herself or not be mm -hmm. loved. Um, but if there is anyone out there in the world who feels like that, I just want to say personally, Nyreen, to your heart, you are love, you are important, you are enough. And, mm -hmm. you know, just remember you're always surrounded by love. So just ask for help or just, it's nothing wrong with, with getting help. So that's yeah. why this relationship with Lynn and Brian is so, you know, frustrating for a lot of people because they're probably like, why does he deal with her? But it's just it's it's a it's a love story and it's someone's love story right so mm -hmm. you got that you got to have somebody in your corner rooting for you and never giving up on you and i think it's a beautiful story so also thank yeah. you mr p no for joke. the challenge yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. addiction is no joke also addiction is no joke people become yeah monsters, it's it, you know? it's it's a lot but you know i always checked out when i was like all right cut I was back to Nairi. You, <laughs> you gotta know how to. It's like, important. To talk you about that. To yeah. Just, you gotta just know how to disconnect sometimes. You know, if a mm. character gets too whatever for you, you know, not saying it's too heavy, but if any anybody is going through anything, hey, Cuzzo, Cynthia, Bobby, um, <gasps> oh. you no know, one to be like, all right, boom, back to reality, who I am as a person. So yeah, yeah. that was a great question, oh. Von Von. Come yeah, on, right? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Oh. <laughs> what had happened? <laughs> what? What? Mm, 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 mm. Come on, it's already a vibe, boy. Mm. I can. I can. Ah! I can. Oh, okay, you know what? That's where press leave. <laughs> Press leave because you keep Ruth, on playing. Ruth is in the building. Ruth is in the building. You brought her out. You summoned her. And Come on and swag surf with us because. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all. I'll give you 30 seconds. I feel okay. wrong. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Shout out to Calvin Davis Jr. I work with on this. Come on. Hey, we there you go. Picture me rolling. Baby, I told you I would get it. I was acting ruthless. You're fucking on my credit. You're petty. I get hey. it. Man, you can just forget it. We're never on the same page because I already read it. Here's in the thrones back home. You're dead wrong. How's it that you're here? But I feel like I'm alone. But then you put it on me. The drinks and back scratches. Knowing I reciprocate. What an actress. Hey. Yeah, you gotta have it. <laughs> Huh. Damn, little mama, you were savage. I walked off like, baby, you can have it. Oh, <laughs> I, ain't oh! off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. This boy with the last friend. <laughs> 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 okay. I, I yeah. took my time. That's I took my up. time. I gotta let everybody else oh. get okay, on here. Dre. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for, for letting me. It. I'm excited to show y'all that in a little bit. And uh so we feel well, I feel like the badass and Lacey came out in season two. Mm -hmm. So how did you prepare to bring the thug thizzle? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I when I read the script, I was like, there was just something about Lacey that I I didn't want to play the victim with her. Mm -hmm. And I wanted, I knew that she was strong. She's been through a lot. And I just wanted to make sure that that fighter came out, that strength came out. Um, so, I mean, it kind of wasn't hard. Everything that she's been through with Lilo, raping her, sodomizing her, mm -hmm. and her telling her man, Oliver, that she want to go and she can't, she can't leave. 
So she had to link up with her girls to get out. And um, I think she's, you know, she's a little bit like me in a sense where she's like a hard ass. She's hard headed. And she's going to do what she got to do to get out of there. So that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You play an amazing Lacey. And thank you so much for bringing what you bring. Thanks, you. This, the spicy. Both of y'all. Y'all two yeah. are spicy. The dialogue between you two. Mm -hmm. I think my sister pointed out, she was like, you could I'll drink bleach, but you can't kill Daikon. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't a killer, but don't Let's push her. Let's do she this. We are doing this. No excuses. None yeah. of that. Yeah. But I want to just say one thing with some of our other cast was saying. I was intimidated because we got so much. I mean, we came in with like a season and a half worth of work. Mm -hmm. And y'all really did set the example, welcome, wel welcoming us as family. Yeah. I mean, like, as soon as we got in there, I felt protected and taken care of. Mm, All of my nerves it. and everything went out the door. Y'all was telling us the ropes. And that is so important, being yeah. a newbie on the show. So, thanks. I was scared to talk to Melissa. Huh? Yeah. I remember I was scared to talk to Melissa. I was like, <laughs> I was like what? I was like, um, hey, could you, like, maybe um, run this scene with <laughs> Like, said, I didn't think you practiced. I didn't know you practiced with people. I said, girl, get up. Yeah. I was like, I never <laughs> get over here. <laughs> but like, can we just go over this? Because I don't know how you're going to smack me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sam, okay. I love you, girl. You are super amazing as yeah. our girl, Paula. Because come on, you had to it drink. Is. First of all, like, no one knows what bleach tastes like. And word. The way that you, like, it made people say or think twice about doing so. What did you feel like, did you feel like after just reading that portion that your character would survive? Obviously we know, but like when you read that, how did you feel about seeing the fact that your character had to do such a thing? You know, it was very interesting because Paula's a lot different than Samantha. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And she had to really go, like, Paula was in a really dark place to be like, I'm about to drink this bleach and yeah. get up on out of here. So I was nervous and I was like, well, what does this look like for her? Because she survives. And I had a, I, I met with my acting coaches and one of my coaches was like, well, you're not going to really have a voice after this. So like, mm -hmm. we need to work through it. And so it was dealing with the emotions of like, oh my gosh, I actually survived this. And then I'm also in pain with speaking anytime I like talk to somebody. And so I literally had to go through my scripts because you guys know how we film and like highlight pages in different colors to mm -hmm. know what was with her voice getting better. Oh, wow. Wow. That's what's that's, up. That's, it was a really good challenge though. That's that homework right oh. there. Yeah. I'm, I'm... Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All Things Rufus, where I, your girl, Tika Deshaun, will usher you all of the latest Ruthless content.